Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know you guys have missed me. I've missed you guys too. I've been busy making loads of content for you guys, um, making lessons on bearings, which is going to be our new topic, and also investigating where Carol Baskin's husband is. I think I'm on to something, so I'll be updating you guys soon. Watch out, hit subscribe to the new channel, please, uh, and just to keep updated. Leave a comment, why not? Right, the plan for this topic, we are doing bearings. Um, our lesson one, which is uh, this video here, we're going to do the introduction and you're going to do a practice worksheet. Video two and three might be combined into one, but they involve some quite tricky examples. I haven't decided yet. So those will cover advanced trigonometry with bearings. Um, and then the, th the third part of the topic is bearings when you have um, accurate diagrams drawn. Um, that requires special worksheets, but I probably won't be able to do them by video. So I will just leave that for when I see you guys, if I um, have you guys next year. So, um, so here are some aerial pictures of various airports that you can work out the numbers. Uh, can you work out what the numbers are? You probably just instinctively figured it's something to do with angles and you'd be right. It's actually um, if you add a zero on the end, you actually get the clockwise from north, the uh, the way that the runway faces from north. And it is a form of bearing that you use. Other examples of bearings, um, DOV, you may have used them when you are uh, navigating to your campsite. Pilots use them um, uh, in the sky, um, used in war um, when planning on targets, as well as search and rescue. Uh, to find someone in distress and mainly uh, ships will use them as well because they can't just use for obviously can't use roads to navigate there's a video i've linked two minute video on google classroom which you can watch uh, just a bit more on angles and uh, bearings so uh, we are doing right, right your title today is going to be bearings uh, you need to make sure you have your calculator ready for this whole topic you will be expected to sketch out all of the diagrams with me, um, especially when we get to the harder questions, not for the initial part, but um, the harder questions will become a lot, lot harder if you do not sketch them out in your books. And revising angle rules is important as well, otherwise you'll struggle with this topic. So this is what you need to copy into your books. A bearing tells you the direction of one point from another in degrees. They have three properties. First thing, they're measured from north. They're measured clockwise. And they have three figures. Technically, we should say three digits. But some, sometimes they're referred to as figures. So you copy this into your book. Some examples of bearings are for uh, 0, 6, 0 degrees. Uh, 120 degrees or 250 degrees. Some non-examples are 50 degrees, 2 degrees or 3,705 degrees. The reason for three digits is to do with ships when they were sending signals to each other. They needed to make sure that they received the full message and they haven't missed digits out. So the zero would act as a placeholder just to ensure that they have received the full message and so they don't crash into each other. So once you have that in your book, um, just a few, again, uh, key, key ideas you need to know. Um, with this topic, the word from is very important. This um, is a mistake which I don't expect you to make from this point onwards. Pun intended, as I don't know if that's a pun. I don't know. Yes, so from A from B means you're traveling from B to A. Don't get those mixed up when you're doing a question. So when you see the word from, you get your pen and put it on point, or in this case, B, and then you know that's where you're traveling from. And the second thing you need to know is the angles in a, around a compass. So you have north, east, south, and west. The angles are fairly obvious, 0, 90, 180, 270. And then you have the angles in between those, so 45 degree multiples, 45, 135, 225, and 315. So for example, the angle northwest would be 315 degrees, southeast would be 135 degrees, 
and um, northeast would be 0, 0.45 degrees. So you have um, the bearings, the basics down. So looking at actually applying it to a question, example one here, we're on, on a bearing B from A. So we're going to B, we're traveling from A. So the first thing you do, I'm gonna follow the steps on the corner of the screen here. We're gonna point out the north line, draw a line from A to B. Now you've been told that this angle is 27, but we wanna start from north and go clockwise. So that's the angle we want. So you can see, because that's a 90 degree angle given, you do 90 minus 27, you get 0, 063 degrees, and you have to show three digits. Uh, second example here, I wanna go, on a bearing C from A, so that I draw my north line, I draw my line from A to C, and then I go clockwise, so it has to be 360 take away 35 is 325 degrees. Now I can't do worksheets with you guys, so I've made this which, had, which shows um, all of the angles are multiples of 45, so you shouldn't really need to use a protractor anyway for this. Um, I want you to tell me the bearing of B from A. I'll do the first two and then you can do the rest. So I'm traveling from A to B. In this case, I draw my north line. I can see it goes right into B there. I don't need to turn any degrees. So zero degrees and uh, three digits would be zero, zero, zero degrees. Question two, A from B. Well, if I'm tra traveling from B, I'm gonna have to turn 180 degrees. So that's my bearing. I want you to do the next five questions, pause the video, and then I'll show you the answers. Okay, so you should have the following answers on your, uh, in your book. So, looking at the next examples here, looking at the next examples here, I want to go I want to work out the three figure bearings, the three figure bearings from, uh, for the following. So town A from the center, well, there's the center. I want to go to town A so I can see straight away it's going to be this angle here. So it's 45 degrees, 44 degrees, sorry. And then the second question, I want to go B from the center. So it's going to be 44 plus 72. And then I can see that's going to be 116. So try the question on the right. And you should have 248 and 333. Now, um, in this case, slightly more abstract. Uh, we're just working out points P and Q. I want to calculate the three figure bearings of Q from P in each case, work them out and then play the video. Okay, so you should have 81, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 6, and 3, 4, 2. Mark those, and we'll continue. Now, 